Hey guys, I wanted to just do this real quick. This video is gonna be a couple things. Um, I did a couple videos. I was trying to film two different videos at one point, didn't finish them. So we're cutting them up and just smashing them together and that's gonna be the video. It's gonna, this is over at least a month of time of me working on the car. So I'm right now I'm working on my friend's Z, the white one, the belt, my friend's uh, 350Z. First it had mold in it, I cleaned it. I kind of went over how to get rid of it and clean it out. Two, I am upgrading the brakes to uh, what I did on my Z, which is the uh, Brembo remanufactured uh, calipers. So right now, at the end of the video, about halfway through, I'm painting them um, and I finished that up. Anyways, I just wanted to cut this up because I rambled on when I originally videoed me cleaning out the mold. So I just wanted to make this quick one and uh, let's get at it. I I guess some of my friends, be, I have my friend Z and uh, I was gonna do their brakes like I did on my Z. Um, unfortunately, it was raining really bad. The car was out in the driveway. Um, I guess it has a leak. I have no idea where it's from. Um, my friend said, it leaks from the steering steering rack, but I, I don't. I, I honestly, I don't understand how it's leaking from there. But the thing is, it got wet. I brought I brought the car back into the garage to start working on it. I didn't realize how wet the interior of the car was. Well, the car was just sitting in the garage um, next to my Z. But we'd come in, um, bringing my wife's car in and out, and you know, close the garage. The garage gets stupid hot in the garage because you know the car was hot, was running. And I was basically baking this car with a wet interior and mold just grew all on the interior of the car. Um, unfortunately, I already started working on this. Um, I didn't think about to video it, but uh, basically um, there's a few things you're gonna need uh, when, you're, when you're removing mold. I'm gonna put up some pictures right now so you can see what it looked like just before because I took pictures to send my friend Val. Um, I feel so bad, Val, I'm sorry that uh, your car got that way. I just. I should have noticed sooner. Um, anyways, I'm gonna take care of it and fix it. All right, so basically, uh, now that you guys see what it looks like, you're gonna need a few things. Um, vinegar, distilled vinegar, straight vinegar, kills about 80% uh, mold, 80% of types of mold. Uh, get one of these masks, these respirator masks. I looked it up and said N95 masks are good for mold. Um, also wear some eye protection and some, some gloves. Um, but definitely clean this. You, you really don't want to mess around with this, guys. This is serious stuff. Like, anyways, you'll need that. Um, once you get that, you spray the whole car down, get some rags. You're going to wipe it down. Um, we're going to go through. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys real quick what I'm doing as I go through it. Um, and then also, what I also did was got interior, like, car cleaner, and I got a wet vac to kind of soak it all up. Um, basically, I'm just trying to kill the mold right now, mold right now with the vinegar. You're supposed to let it sit for an hour after you spray it, which I've done that. So we're waiting uh, while it's doing that. And then I will uh, wipe it out as best I can. Then use the cleaner and go through that. Um, and then I do that a few times until I get it out. Anyways, I already sprayed everything. So I uh, will be jumping to the next thing I'll be doing. All right. I don't know if you can hear me or not very well. Probably not. But I'm going to show you real quick. I've already, it's been probably more than an hour since I, uh, sprayed down the whole car with vinegar so i just started wiping the car out and uh i'll just show you real quick it's all it's pretty simple just wipe it out just literally just just wipe guys wipe and don't do what i'm doing dude i i just wanted to initially do this real quick without uh waiting because i sprayed it and i thought i had gloves and i can't find my gloves so um just wipe it off as you see I'm sorry guys, I'm not doing a very good job of showing you, but I just wanted to do a quick, quick thing real quick. It's, this is all it is. I'm just wiping it out real quick and then I'm going to use the carpet cleaner and use a brush and agitate the crap out of it. And that's pretty much it guys. It's pretty simple. Hopefully I'll show you after when it's all done. Basically all I'm doing is I'm vacuuming everything out. I got one of these wet backs um, and then I got one of these uh, cleaners and what else one of these brushes i'm basically going through the car spraying it down i've already sprayed the vinegar it's been sitting on there so it should kill the majority of the uh, mold so now i'm just cleaning up on this side of the car right now he had a ton of change everywhere damn bell um so i'm doing that i still need to do the other side i need to do the trunk um but for the most part it's uh, actually turning out really well um looks pretty good so far um, yep. All right, I'll check on you guys uh, in the next minute.
earlier in this, I don't know where I'm going with this. Either way, I am working on my my friend's uh, Z right now and we're upgrading his brakes like I did with my Z and at the moment I'm painting stuff. Um, earlier you should have saw that I um, was cleaning out some mold out of his car, but now I'm painting. So let me show you what's going on right now. All right, don't mind the mess. It's a mess, I know. But uh, here's the calipers right now. Um, as you can see, what's going on here? I've already kind of started. There's one hanging. I already started using some uh, VHT primer. I'm about to wipe it down with some isopropyl alcohol um, so I can get some of that stuff off and I'll tape it up on um, the seals and stuff like that so I don't paint over that. And then we'll stack it up there and start painting it. But yeah, here's the car we're working on. Um, I don't know how I'm editing this video. I'm making this one big video because I have been slacking on finishing a video. So I started making a video on cleaning the mold out of the car. Didn't finish it. Um, or I didn't do a, a like completion. Which, hey, let me show you guys right now what it looks like. So right now, the mold is completely gone. I told my friend Val, this is the cleanest his car has probably ever been because since he's owned it. Because I was going through it and I was moving the seats back. I found so many quarters and shit in here. Uh, but yeah, it's completely clean. Really clean. Um, there's only one other thing I want to do because it's still got a little bit of a little bit of a funky smell. Just a little bit, right? And I use these things. Um, these little um, air freshener things that you throw in your car. I usually put in my car, my Z, it makes it smell like bubble gum. I don't know, I just love that smell. And I threw like three packs in here. Still smells a little funky. I'm gonna use some baking powder and throw it on the carpet and stuff like that where the mold used to be. It should lift the rest of the smell out and I'll vacuum it up and it'll be good to go when the car's done. Um, I also have taken the headliner out cause, and it's right over there because it was sagging like crazy. I did it. His car likes to sit in the sun for forever. Um, and basically, I'm not gonna redo this, as you can see. I am going to basically take it to a pulser. My friend's gonna pay for it. I just need to find one to see if they can redo it and hopefully do it professionally, perfectly good. And uh, I'll probably end up, whoever I find, hopefully they do a great job because I'm gonna just take mine to it too because mine's not nowhere near like this. Mine's only sagging in some tight spots like here. Um, and the curves and stuff like that, but other than that, it's good. All right, I'm gonna get back to painting and then I'll update date you guys in a minute. All right, I got two good coats on this one. I'll do one more coat on that one of primer. And what I'll do next is I need to go still pick up the paint, the color paint that I'm using for these, these calipers because we're doing something different than black, silver, or gold, or even red. So we're doing a different color. Um, I need to go to AutoZone or whatever, an auto parts store to go pick up the paint that he specifically wants. Um, then I will slap the Nissan stickers on there and clear it and we'll be done and they can be slapped on the car and I can breathe the bleed the brakes car is partially covered obviously because I don't want to get paint on it um, garage is open run the fan to blow the crap that way and uh, Yeah, and I think once we do all that we'll pretty much be done um, I've been taking forever to do this so I've had his car and the brakes for about a good month now and I uh, yeah, sorry about it's just taking me forever. I don't have time. Kid, other stuff going on all day, work. But yep, that's my progress. All right, so here is the paint we're gonna use. We're gonna paint it this purple. It's called Plum Purple, I believe. If you look it up at O'Reilly's. Um, it's been a few hours actually since I primered those, so. I'm gonna spray it on this box right here and make sure it's the good color that we want. And then, what's going on there? I'm liking this purple. This is good. 
Nissan sticker is on, and let's clear these bad boys. I just realized this is satin clear, which is what I use on my uh, calipers, which I don't want to use satin clear. I want actually gloss clear. So now I got to go buy some. I've already started spraying them. Oh, well, the gloss should shine them back up after I uh, go get some. So that's what I got to go do. My Cadillac feels 20 inch wide. There we go, got the right stuff now. All right guys, here they're finished and painted up. Oh, I was like, why is there blue tape here? But it's the reflection on the blue rag. Anyways, here they are. Gloss is all nice and glossy, you know? Anyways, I also got the uh, banjo bolts in for these brake calipers, so. Next up is, uh, you know, installing, installing them on the Z. So. Anyways, guys, I'm going to call the video in here. It's probably running quite long as it is with me um, getting rid of some of the mold out of the Z or getting rid of the mold out of the Z and painting these calipers, calipers up. So we're just caught here and we'll pick up whenever I start installing it on the next video. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Uh -huh.